Building modern apps has never been easier, but stitching everything together still takes time. Front ends, back ends, databases, auth, emails, AI integrations. It's not hard, it's just a lot. So today we're going to see how a few modern tools completely change that flow and then actually build a real AI powered SaaS with them. We'll start with React.js, a popular JavaScript library for building fast, interactive user interfaces. It lets you create reusable components and efficiently update the UI as your app's data changes, which makes it perfect for building modern SaaS front ends. But while React makes the front end smooth and flexible, it doesn't handle what happens behind the scenes. And that's where the next tool comes in. INS Forge, a complete backend for mobile and web applications built for AI coding agents. The biggest problem in building an app isn't the idea, design, or even the front-end code you love writing. It's everything that slows you down after that. It's setting up authentication, creating a database, wiring APIs, handling permissions, and making sure all of it works together securely. That's where InsForge changes the flow. Instead of making you build each back-end piece manually, you simply describe what your app needs, users, data, relationships, and InsForge handles the auth, database, and APIs automatically. It's like skipping the boring setup phase and jumping straight to building real features. Now here's where it gets really interesting. InsForge isn't just some random tool. It's built by engineers from places like AWS, Databricks, Meta, TikTok, and more. They call it a backend platform for AI agents, which basically means it's designed to work with your AI coding tools. And yes, it supports whatever front end you're already using, Next.js, React, Svelte, and more. Getting started is honestly simple. You go to insforge.dev, sign up, create your organization, then create a project. Once that's done, you connect your AI assistant, cursor, Claude code, GitHub Copilot, whatever you prefer, to insforge using their MCP server. This is the cool part because once it's connected, your AI can read insforge's docs, set up your backend, and even help write full applications just from prompts. And that's it. No long setup at this point, you're already ready to build a full stack app. So now we have a front end and a back end, but one key piece is still missing. That's where Resend comes in. Resend is a modern email API built for developers who want to send reliable, great looking emails with minimal setup. It's fast, developer friendly, and integrates perfectly with React and back end platforms like InsForge, making it ideal for things like newsletters, notifications, and transactional emails. So now that we have the full stack, let's actually put it all together. Let's build an AI newsletter generator SaaS. And with that said, Let's get started. So what does this app do? Let's say you're a digital marketer and want to send out a weekly newsletter to your email subscribers about the latest trends in marketing. You log into the app, which already has your subscriber list stored. You enter the topic, top five digital marketing trends for 2025 into the app. The AI generates a well-written newsletter complete with text and suggestions for images. You preview the newsletter to see how it will look when sent. You schedule the newsletter to go out on Monday morning at 9 a.m. Once it's sent, the app tracks how many people opened it, clicked on the links, and interacted with the content. You can use this data to optimize your next newsletter, improving your audience's engagement over time. With that said, let's start building. First, let's install React using Vite. Open your terminal and run the following command. npm create Vite at latest dot slash dash dash template React. This command will set up React as the template for your project. Now that everything is installed, you can start the development server with npm run dev. Now, let's integrate insforge mcp into our editor. If you are using cursor or another editor from this dropdown, you can install it with just one click. However, if you are using Copilot like me, you can integrate it by typing mpx set insforge slash install, and then client Copilot with env, and then your API key and your API base URL. This command will set up insforge mcp in your copilot environment and configure it with your API key and base URL. Now that the basic setup for the front end is ready, we can let GitHub Copilot do the rest of the work. Let's type in the prompt. Using this React template, create an AI newsletter generator SaaS that helps users generate high quality newsletter content with AI, edit and customize it using an easy to use rich text editor. Use insforge mcp for the back end so it can handle data storage, images, AI integrations, and more. And that's it. Once you send that prompt, Copilot first fetches the InsForge docs, then it sets up the database schema. After that, it connects everything to the React app we made with InsForge, creates the AI-powered newsletter generation, implements authentication, and more. After a short while, we end up with this, an AI-powered newsletter generator. It has a clean UI and a solid layout. 
Now let's try creating an account using Innsforge. After signing in, we're redirected to the dashboard, where we can see stack cards like total newsletters, total subscribers, and more. Let's create our first newsletter. We fill in the title and description, choose the tone of the newsletter, and click Generate. This uses Innsforge's AI integration to generate a fully AI-written newsletter. But of course, since we're using TipTap, we can customize everything with a rich text editor right in our app. Let's save it. Next, let's add our first newsletter subscriber. Then, we'll try scheduling the newsletter and done. We've successfully scheduled it for our subscribers. We also get real-time analytics here using Insforge's real-time database. Now, if we check the Insforge database, we can see tables like newsletters and more. We also have indexes already set up, policies created automatically, storage for images, and AI integrations like GPT-40 for generating content. Everything is already wired together. Next, let's go back to Copilot. We still need Insforge to create functions so we can integrate an email service, because right now the app works, but it's not actually sending real emails yet. So we ask Insforge to create functions like sending emails and related logic. After that, we need to decide which free email service works best for our app. Copilot recommends Resend because it allows up to 3,000 emails per month for free and it's very developer friendly. So let's go to Resend, create an account and grab the API key. Since we're still in development, we'll use Resend's test domain, onboarding at resend.dev, so we can start testing immediately. Now we prompt Copilot to integrate Resend as the email provider for our newsletter app. Once that's done, let's test it again. We create a new newsletter, for example, Top 10 React JS Tips and Tricks. Add a description and click Generate. The newsletter content is created. We edit it a bit, hit Save, then send it to our subscribers. The send is successful. Now let's open Gmail, and there it is. The email was successfully sent. We used React for the front end, Insforge for the database, authentication, storage, real-time features, and AI integration. Tip tap as the text editor and resend as the email service. Just like that, we built a full stack AI newsletter SaaS generator in minutes. And to wrap this up, you can find all the links to the tech stack we use down in the description. If you want the full code repository for this project, just head to the link below and follow the setup instructions. With a single prompt, it will configure your Insforge project with all the prerequisites and you're done. And if you enjoy this kind of video where we build real apps using useful tools like Insforge or Resend, Make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for more. And that's it for now, Novas. Thank you for watching.